Next, it's time for the world to meet Botswana. Hello world. I am a 24-year-old lady representing a nation best known for its tourism, diamonds and humility. A nation so humble that Prince Harry decided to bring his newlywed wife to explore our wonders. From the beautiful Okavango Delta that stretches north of my home village, Maung, to the ever so sparkly diamond that shines on Megan's finger. A lot of people who meet me say I'm the most humble beauty queen they've ever met. Miss Bajana coming here means a lot to us because I also want to be a model actually. Um, she said a lot of things. She wanted to be a doctor, but it meant giving up that to become something even greater. How can I not be humble when I grew up in such a paradise? Join me as I tell Botswana's story at the 68th Miss World Competition in China. I am Mutepi Elias. See you in Sanya. Botswana, what is it like delivering speeches to young people at schools? Well, to me, frankly, speaking to students really is a fulfilling honor because I remember being young and not knowing where my purpose was, where my future was going, and I met a couple of people who helped me discover who I was. And in that manner, I know some girl out there, some little boy is also looking at me and saying, I need her help to also figure out where I'm going, which is why I live my life according to a basic, simple but yet compelling mantra that says, become the person that you needed as a younger you. I put my heart and soul into everything that I do, which is why after being crowned Miss Botswana 2018, I quit my job to do this full term. So I, I, I dedicate my life to these children. I do school visits, but I also do have little meetings where I meet them and we talk about where they wanna, what they want to do and the hard work it's going to take. Thank you, Botswana, for your work. What tips, what's something you tell these young people who are lost or looking for, for a purpose? I always tell them the same thing, which is what I've learned traveling my journey. It is to invest in your dreams. It doesn't matter how little you have or how much you have, but if you put in the work, eventually you'll reap what you have sown. Well, I think we can all agree with that. So thank you, Botswana. Thank you. Our final